Hi, I'm Keegan Allen, and we are at the MCC Theater rehearsal space for Small Engine Repair. It's just three working class guys in Manchester, New Hampshire. They've been friends since they were in the first grade together. Frank, who I play, owns the shop. Uh, he had a child when he was about 17, 18 years old. He had a baby, so it's, his life went in a different direction. And his, his buddies come over, and, and they're estranged. Nobody's really hung out in about a year. They had a big falling out. So Frank's orchestrating this night to kind of get everybody back. This real preppy college kid, 19-year-old, shows up. And then the plot kind of really you know, kicks into gear. And As a friend of mine sent me the play, and he was like, are you interested in this? I'm, and I read like 10 pages. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't really want to do a play. And they were like, did you read the whole thing? And so I, I read it and I was like, oh my God, like what, what do I have to do to be in this? Because this is insane. These guys, in particular Frank, having a, he has a teenage daughter and sort of dealing with some of the issues social media brings up with characters who are ill-equipped to deal with that sort of modern technology. You know, growing up with the internet, in my generation, how social media, I mean, a lot of people follow me on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, anything. It's, it's so different now. And uh, even more so when you're trying to do something that's corrupt. I, I aged out of it. It came around, I was in my early 20s. So I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Facebook, I never have been. Um, I mean, maybe it'll change, maybe I'll get it. Everyone's trying to convince me to get a Twitter. Yeah, I do, I have a really interesting relationship with Twitter. Well, cause like I'll, I'll like cherry pick things that people say bad about me and then I'll retweet them to sort of like take the arrows. Social media is the way we all connect now. It's the way we tell stories, it's the way people find each other, people full find their life partners, you know, on the internet. And it could be dangerous too, which is a little element of this play. It's pretty shocking and crazy what we do at the end of the play. I was like, we're gonna do this on stage? This is insane, like we're really gonna do this? And John was like, yeah, totally.